I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Makai Wars. This is Asagi's own game, for real. Finally. She has her own game, she's got her own stats, and it's basically like a Disgaea, like, mini game. Well, not like mini game, but like halfway between a regular game and a mini game. Like a small, a small game. But yeah, it's a tactical RPG, just like Disgaea. It's a little bit on the small side. We'll, uh,. Let's continue the story here. I do not speak Japanese to answer your first question. Um, I have just been playing this through trial and error. I do have a guide on my site. Um, just go to sirtaptap.com and I have a Disgaea, or a Makai Wars quick start guide where you can learn all about how to play this game. And well, maybe not all about it, but you'll learn as I learn. I have enough to get you going. And uh, there's gonna be some trial and error of course, to any game in Japanese, but if you've played Disgaea, or really any tactical RPG, uh, you probably know how this goes. So, you've got your little duders, and you can move around, and you can do a thing. So, Artina here has long range, and she can buff people, and she can heal people. Um, Asagi here is a gun user, as always, and uh, so, for those of you not in on the joke, Makai Wars is... A game that Nipponichi Software, the creators of Disgaea, uh, they announced back in 2004, uh, and there was a no-show at E3 where it was supposed to be shown for the first time. Uh, and then it changed uh, platforms. It was originally supposed to be, it was originally supposed to be for uh, PSP, and then it moved to PS3, and it just kind of never happened. So it's kind of been in a running a running gag that Asagi would show up in other Nipponichi software games like Disgaea or Makai Kingdom, and she would be like, "Oh hey, have you guys seen uh, Makai Wars? That's my game. I'm supposed to be in this this game, but I'm in this other game. What's what's going on here?" So poor Asagi finally has her own game after 14 years. Goodness. <laughs> so, she's finally a cameo character no longer. Bless her heart. Um, and, um, it, it is, it's a free-to-play mobile game, as you might expect. Yes, there is unfortunately a Gashapon. Uh, the Gashapon is fairly simple, so this game has ranks. Um, it has two stars and three stars. And, um, th two stars are generic characters like the gothic Lolita ghost thing and the uh, the female warrior over on the left there. Uh, story characters are three stars, which are like uh, Artina and uh, and Asagi herself there. So I think there's an eight percent chance of getting a three star or like story character, and um, the rest of the chance is to get a two star. And there's different elements for the generic characters. Um, I've gotten, I've only done, four, I, I know I've been lucky because I know the percent chances, but I've only done like four Gashapon rolls, but I've gotten, um, I have four three stars as you can see here, and I mean it depends what you like, use what you like I guess, but um, personally I plan to mostly use a set of three stars, they, I don't really understand the mechanics enough to know for sure that they're better, but they usually would be expected to be. Plus, it's just kind of some Disgaea fan service. I mean, of course you're gonna want that, right? Unless you don't know Disgaea, but um, oh yeah, I probably should have explained earlier. But yes, this is Japanese only. I think it's it's even only on Android at the moment. It's coming to iOS, but um, obviously you wouldn't really be super interested in it if you're not like a big Disgaea fan, because you're gonna have to deal with some Japanese. You're gonna have to, you know, it's entirely possible that when the English version comes out, it will be. It, the saves won't transfer, that's entirely possible. Um, it, there's no telling when um, Nisa will actually bring this over, or if. It's possible they won't. So this is like, this is just for super fans to check out if you want. Um, I can't show you like exactly how to get it. Um, you either need a proxy or you just need an APK. And I can't really show you how to get those, just Google is your friend. But um, it's free to try out. And you'll have a little bit of difficulty, but uh, it's not the hardest game in the world to get running either. It's not like trying to play VN or something. You won't understand the story. There is a story, so that is unfortunate in a way. I mean, it's nice that it has a story, but you won't get the story. 
Um, some people are looking at maybe translating some of the story and stuff. Um, I've been making my guide, I've been trying to reach out to people who can, like, figure out the game mechanics. I'm just kind of derping around here at low-level stuff, where it doesn't really matter if I don't understand, like, the basic stuff. Like, I understand you move around the grid, you use your skills, there's only three skills per character. It's really not, you know, giga-difficult to understand at this point in the game. Uh, there's also equipment and stuff, and I think if you get a duplicate in the Gashapon, it gives, like, a plus one to, like, a level limit break kind of thing, or, like, level cap break sort of thing. We don't understand exactly how that works yet. I haven't gotten any duplicate characters yet because I haven't been rolling the Gashapon. Um, I really don't like Gashapons, and I mostly want to figure out, like, how enjoyable, how much enjoyment is to be had without using it too much. I mean, there's a currency that's just mostly for Gashapon, so, I mean, I will eventually... Oh, am I paralyzed? Oh, okay. Um... I mean, I kind of want to see how it is before, especially before spending any kind of money, but like, uh, see how forced the Gashapon is and stuff like that. Thus far, I'm not very far, obviously, but uh, it hasn't been too bad. So yeah, as you can see, it's a simplified kind of Disgaea thing. The stages are pretty quick, which you kind of hope for a mobile thing. And, um... It's got the three star. If you, it's got to be. You got to have the three star ranking system to be a mobile game. It's, it's required. All right. And since I know somebody's gonna get their undies in a bunch if I don't show the Gashapon, because that is the most exciting thing ever. Right? Here's how the story things unfold. They're little like you know, standard talking heads. Well, not even talking, but you know, jiggling the little sprite around there kind of dealies. Yeah, you get you when you you get stars for like not dying or uh, completing within a certain amount of turns and you get little rewards for getting story progress stars. There's there's like so how many stars are there? So there's over a hundred stages uh, of just the story. See, so yeah, 750. Wow. So yeah, there's three stars per level, so that's that's like 150 stages and that's just currently so there's there's a lot of little stages to play. Um, yeah, I'll do, I'll do the Gashapon since I'm sure somebody will flip their friggin' crap if you don't. This is Gashapon lady. You can click on her. Um, I'm playing this on my Nox app player. This I, it's, this is a phone game though. Some people sometimes people get confused. Um, but yeah, I got this from my phone and it has a cross or like a cloud save mechanic So that's how I'm that's how I move my save over and it's pretty easy to use It's in Japanese, but like all you have to do is enter an email and then you click a button then you enter your password It's pretty simple So yeah, I was saving up to just do 10 Gashapon rolls at once. Oh, by the way, if you're gonna spend money in this game um, Which I with any mobile game I strongly recommend all oh, right you there's equipment stuff. So let me show you um it's, like I said, it's basically a Disgaea spin-off. The, everything in here should be pretty familiar if you've played Disgaea. So you got, you got your stats, you got your accessories, which I do not have any. Oh, I have a single accessory. They seem to be very rare. Or at least moderately rare. Um, here are the characters I've unlocked so far. Um, I haven't really been using the generics very much. The, my team, my main team is at the top. And you can kind of set together different teams. You got 10 different team slots, yes I know. Um, so you can kind of, if you want to, you know, put together all of your generics in a second team here, it can be like, you know, Noah Soggy for us, we're going team generic, hashtag. So there you go. And each, I think the generic characters always have different elemental variants here. So there's five elements, there's light, dark, uh, earth, I guess, is green? Water and fire. Wa earth, water, and fire are kind of a rock, paper, scissors kind of relationship. Uh, Light and dark work exactly like you expect. They're super effective against each other. Um, some of these menus I don't fully understand yet. I don't know if this is like upgrading your equipment. I'm, I'm scared to press anything in this menu, honestly. Um, that's just kind of what you get when you import games sometimes. I'll try it out at some point. But yeah, here's how you summon people. You spend 300 gems, which as you can see I've gotten yeah, 1,700. I was going to save up for 10 Gashapon Bulls at once, so I don't have to watch so many animations. But, um... 
Oh yeah, well, one other thing, one other thing. So if you're gonna pay money in this game, two, two big things, two big things. Uh, number one, there's this beginner pack thing that you can get for um, 12,000 yen, which is about 12 US dollars. Um, it gives you whatever is on screen here. I don't know what the four star and three star thing is exactly, like if that's free character, I guess. Um, but that is kind of the best way to spend, that's like the usual introduction to a mobile game, give you the best stuff for pretty cheap kind of deal. But be aware, if you spend money, it's entirely possible that the game will come to the US and your save won't transfer. I think uh, Fate Go did that, so it's totally possible that's how it'll be, so buyer beware and all that. Additionally to that, um, it is actually way better to spend these white gems on this special Gashapon that's guaranteed, I think, to get you 10 3 stars instead of possibly 2 stars. So like, in terms of white gems alone, you could spend 10 on three, 10 guaranteed 3 stars or just 10 regular spins. So yeah, if you're gonna spend money, I would say that's how to do it. I have not spent money on this, by the way. Um, so yeah, let's do a Gashapon pull. Somebody will complain if I don't. I don't, I really do not like Gashapon and I, <laughs> I honestly find it gross when people are like, do a Gashapon pull. I want to see you spend money, boy. Yeah, fair. I don't, I don't understand the fascination. But yes, we got some kind of demon thing. I think there's some unique characters. I have not played Disgaea 5 yet, but I don't recognize all of the new, the demon mooks. So I think there's some genuinely new characters. There's some genuinely new three stars as well. Um, but I think some of these... Uh, obviously some of the generics are from regular disguise stuff, but um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I know about Makai Wars. There's some gameplay features that I don't fully understand yet. There's some daily bonus features. How do I get back to? Oh yeah, here we go. There's some there's like daily bonus things you get for doing stuff. I don't know what some of these are. I need to translate some of these. I think one of these is just for like for logging in during lunchtime and dinner time or something. I don't understand what that is, but yeah, I'll, I'll mess around with Google Translate. If anybody actually knows Japanese and wants to help me translate this, by the way, um, I could really use that help, even if it's just like for some UI stuff, um, because I, like I said, I'm making a guide for this, so um, yeah, I don't know how far the guide's gonna get. Making import guides is harder work and generally gets less views than, you know, a regular guide for people speaking the language of the thing. Oh, there's also these SP quests. Which are, and there's like, I don't think they're, I don't know if the arena is, like, I think I haven't gone far enough to do arena, but I guess that's like, multi, like, PvP kind of stuff? I don't know exactly how that works. But there's also these, like, time-limited SP quest things. And over the weekend, there was a different SP quest, and I don't know if that's, like, a weekend thing, or if there's, like, mini timed events, or what the deal is exactly. Indeed. So, yeah. That is Makai Wars. I got this weird cat thing. I don't really like it, but I have it now. And the game is like, haha, you own this. This is, I will put it in your face. It's weird. I, it's, I don't like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this is Makai Wars. And, um, yeah. Check it out if you want. Uh, guide on my site. Um, oh yeah, there is an AP mechanic, so like, as you can see, I have like major giga overfilled. Oh my gosh, that was loud. Um, stupid tweet deck, I need to mute that. Um, replaying stages costs AP, which refills every hour. I don't know exactly how much it refills, but by beating story stages, you actually gain more AP. And so like, you will not be limited until you need to grind like many, many chapters in, from what I can tell. At least I, up until chapter two, I have not at all needed to um, to grind for more or wait for more AP. But yeah, that's Makai Wars, and thanks for watching, everybody.